with your host with the most Jennibel as always welcome back so I have a, another documentary for you guys that once again I came across this on Amazon Prime and that is The Legend of 420 um this is obviously a pot documentary another pot documentary and everything and a very very well done one um this is one that it's more recent uh documentary this is one that uh, really does kind of go through a lot of the drug culture, uh, especially now that a lot of states are either having medicinal, legal medicinal marijuana or just straight up legal recreational marijuana, uh, talking about the different like pros of like pretty much almost all like these sort of pros of marijuana, different types of marijuana products and everything that help with people who are battling, you know, cancer, uh, depression, anxiety, a slew, slew of different medical conditions and everything. I uh, knew you have a lot of different people in this, including like, like, um, Melissa Etheridge is in this. Uh, she was actually talking about, uh, back in like 2004 when she had cancer and, you know, that was really kind of when she first started kind of using marijuana to help ease some of like the chemotherapy or she ended up wanting to like, I, I can't quite remember if she said, no, I just want to do marijuana or like no chemo and do marijuana. I think it was, she was doing chemo, but because of all the different side effects with chemo being sick and not having an appetite and this and that, she started using cannabis to help relieve some of those symptoms from chemotherapy and radiation and everything um, to a lot of different, different other people who, people who, um, grow marijuana for different purposes, whether it's for, uh, you know, these dispensaries and everything to places that are making actual edible food that you can actually legally buy and consume and everything to all these sort of different things. And, you know, for, especially too, for people who might spiel, still be a little bit like, oh, pot, oh, pot, no, no, no. Oh, it's, it's so bad. You know, it, definitely check it out because it might open up your eyes quite a bit. The different sort of like positive good things about marijuana um, and then of course there are a few people that they do have in here that are very much against marijuana like there's this older man in there uh, I think he's someone in like political office or something or a DEA agent or something who is very much against legalizing marijuana he even kind of says at one point oh it's a gateway drug to other drugs because oh yeah people always say what well, was the first drug you ever tried and it was pot it's like to a degree okay i can see where you're coming from but it's like like and they even kind of make points about this uh with like marijuana and like comparing it to other drugs like i don't know crack heroin that will cause instant death. Uh, it's like, no, like, honestly, like, it's, it's not even in the same ballpark, dude. It really isn't. Yeah, a lot of people may have tried marijuana first, but a lot of times when you kind of think about it, uh, especially when, like, you're a teen or something, you know, and teachers are always putting marijuana in the same group as, you know, like, all these other very deadly drugs, Valium, Vicodin, heroin, cocaine, all this stuff and you know it's like oh it's got it's all gonna kill you it's all gonna make you die and everything and it's like they finally try marijuana for the first time it's like well wait a second like this isn't so bad like like okay maybe they're lying to us about this maybe they're lying to us about other things so it's like be, you know being a, a teenager or being a young person and thinking okay well this drug isn't so bad this one really mustn't be too bad you know so sort of thinking I mean like yeah as an adult kind of like well dude come on like something like heroin yeah you're gonna probably get high you're more than likely you're gonna get highly addicted to it and possibly more than likely overdosing on it but you know and they were also saying too um you know a few people because I mean like I said they have other people too uh, well-known people um like Tommy Chong obviously is in this talking about it Henry Rollins is in this talking about and talking about how like yeah it's you know I'm not a big fan of like hard drugs but marijuana it's so like you know I think he was actually the one even too saying I would rather you know smoke marijuana or have someone smoke marijuana than actually drinking alcohol and you know I don't even understand how 
you know, this one drug is illegal and it's supposedly so bad. But yeah, this one, this legal substance that you can purchase 21 or older and could literally destroy your life. Like, how does that make sense? You know, so, but, you know, it's a very, very interesting documentary, uh, very informative and something that I didn't even realize that I actually probably could have used this weekend for my dog because my parents went on vacation. So I had to literally like dog sit him and literally like they were seeing how, um, dude, like they have like CBD oil for animals for like depression issues, separation, anxiety. Yeah. Like, so I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I would totally would have given that to my dog. So he'd be like a little more fucking chill. I'm just saying. No, but definitely check this one out, you guys. It's a great documentary. Even if you're not a pot smoker or anything, check it out. Really interesting. Let me know what you think in the comments if you have seen this. Till next time, as always, stay creepy, classy, and a little bit sassy.